Enjoy life, be healthier, lose weight, spend more time with family, and spend less money. <laughs> Those are the top five resolutions for 2016. There's something missing on that list that all of us could benefit from. Digital security is the subject of our first Compute This of the New Year. From Schrock Innovation Store, Schrock. Good to see you, Thor. Thanks for having me, guys. Yeah. Happy New Year to you, too. So what are we thinking about here? I guess uh, some of the most common threats that computer users face at home. Well, here's the thing. My wife told me, after the new year, she said, we, what are our goals? We set goals, like family goals or business goals, but we set goals for the new year. And we don't like obsess over them, but when we go back at the end of the year, how do we do kind of mm -hmm. thing? And she said, do you notice, she said, we need a fun new year's goal. Does anybody have a fun new year's resolution? Like, we're gonna go on more vacations, or <laughs> right. we're gonna go on more date nights. I mean, what do you, what do, you do for a fun one? Mm -hmm. Well, this one isn't really fun, but something that, that we've talked about periodically in the past is, making sure that your digital security on your technology in your home is up to snuff. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people got a lot of new technology mm -hmm. that they may not have had before. Well, there's so many things connected to your Wi-Fi network now yes. or just mm -hmm. your network in general. And everything from your Wi-Fi connected television all the way down to that new Windows-based tablet you got for Christmas, they're all capable of being attacked mm. through the Internet. Okay, antivirus is a phrase that's been around for years. Um, but not all programs are created equally. This is true. What are the problems with some? Okay, so you have a, a basically antivirus programs can be divided into three categories. Mm -hmm. You've got the free ones, the, the freeware mm -hmm. programs, yeah. which if you can't afford anything, which is legitimate for some people, some people just can't afford to pay the annual renewal for antivirus. Mm -hmm. If you can't afford anything, the free one, as I've said before, is better than a poke in the eye with a sharp stick, um, <laughs> but not much. But that's hardly a ringing endorsement. So yes, if it's not, not free, much. then we have the next tier. Yes, yeah, so the stick will miss and scratch your face. I mean, it's, it, you know, whatever. Then you can go up into the consumer level. This is where you're going to find things like Norton Security and McAfee mm -hmm. and all of your, your mainline annual subscription-based antivirus software. Among those, there is a wide variety of, of quality levels. One of the best ones in that, in that division is actually Kaspersky. Mm -hmm. uh, McAfee, mm -hmm. not recommended. Uh, it comes free on just about every Dell. It's not recommended. It comes either free or at a reduced subscription through many internet service providers. The reason they're giving that to you or selling it to you at a discount is to keep your infected garbage off their network. So it's about mm -hmm. them, not you. Yes, it's about protecting case. them, mm -hmm. not protecting you. Then you have the corporate level. That's the third level. This is the this is where things get serious. This is where you know you're worried about state actors, mm -hmm. uh, you know states hacking in. This is where you're worried about you know uh, criminal gang enterprises hacking in things like that. This is hardcore security. This is the should home users be concerned about that? Oh, absolutely. In fact, uh, one of the biggest trends that we saw in 2015 that's going to continue into 2016 was extortionware. Um, this is where your computer gets infected yeah. with a virus, and you, it doesn't do anything that you can see. All it does is it starts encrypting everything on your hard drive, all your pictures, all your movies, all your documents. If you have a backup drive, it goes right along the wire and encrypts your backup drive. Um, if you're a police, there was a police station in, in Massachusetts mm -hmm. that it went through their entire network and encrypted their entire criminal database. Then once everything is encrypted, it pops up and says, you're encrypted. You have 72 hours to pay the ransom or we're going to throw away the decryption key and you'll never get it. And so how do you pay the ransom? It's not, it's not as easy as, you know, put, put money in a bag and drive out to a secluded parking lot somewhere and make the exchange. <laughs> Which you is know. not recommended either. Yeah, that's not recommended either. And there's no one you can call. Literally, they don't even say, don't you bother calling the police because the police can't do anything. Yeah. They don't if have the a decryption key The police are targeted, either. yeah. And, so, and these guys are all overseas. So what ends up happening is you have to go out and get Bitcoin. And then you, once you have the Bitcoin, which right there you've just lobbed off 75% of the computing population. They have no idea what a Bitcoin is, mm -hmm. let alone how to get one. Then you have to go on the dark net, which requires a special web browser. You can't just use Firefox. Then once you're on the dark net, the websites, they're not exactly designed for, to be service friendly. So you might have to try 20 or 30 times to get through. This, I don't want to go on the dark net. This sounds very I don't want to do any of this. It, it, it's not fun. So the, 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 all the enterprise seedy. stuff, if you can afford the enterprise stuff, and it's not that much more expensive than the regular. Like what, like, like what yeah. does it cost? Well, for example, Endpoint is the, is the best That's corporate product. Recommend. That's what we recommend. That's what we sell. And we even back it with a virus-free guarantee. Mm -hmm. So if you do happen to get infected, we actually fix it for free. That tells you how many of our customers get infected when they run Endpoint. Because Windows, yeah. PC, Mac? Uh, it is not available for El Capitan. 
Uh, so you can, for the Mac user, the Mac? They, that's yeah. the newest Mac operating system. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah El Capitan, who's that, Morgan? I was you know? like, is that a scotch? <laughs> <laughs> scotch. It's a but, uh, but no, it, it's an amazing piece of antivirus software. It's what we recommend. The initial install costs 160 compared to about $100 for the other good ones. And the annual renewal is about the same at 60 bucks. So it's wow. well worth the price. Okay, and, and the amount of protection you get is second it's to none. It's off the charts. In fact, yeah. we actually monitor your security for you. So you know, we were all on vacation and I'm getting an email that says customer XYZ has had an intrusion event and I can, I can look and say, okay, Endpoint was able to take care of it, I don't have to call this wow. guy. Or if something wow. got damaged, it'll say Endpoint stopped an intrusion but is damaged and not functioning. Then we call him, say, let's do a shock test and get this fixed. Uh -huh. He was like, I, I was eating, you know, leftover turkey, I had you no know. idea. That's crazy though that you that it's that effective. It is. So how do you how do you get it? Well, easiest thing to do is just call the service centers. Any of the three Schrock locations mm -hmm. can install Endpoint right over the internet. We so you have to you, bring your computer in to do it. No, 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 you don't have to. You can if you want to, but you don't have to. Hey, and we have less than a minute here. How can you use something like Secure Updater, which is something else you've recommended before, and use it as a as a partner almost with Endpoint for the yes. best computing experience? This is something that not a lot of people are aware of, but when you have third-party software on your computer which we all do, things like Flash and Java mm -hmm. and Adobe Reader and you know, VLC Media Player, OpenOffice, LibreOffice, all these programs that we have that, are, that didn't come with the computer. When they have an update, the reason an update is released for them is because there's a vulnerability that's been discovered that allows a bad guy to bypass the antivirus because the antivirus trusts these programs. So it goes right past the antivirus. It doesn't matter what you have then. If something comes through those doors, you're hit. And of all the free removals we do, mm -hmm. that's 99% of them. But Secure Updater keeps all of yes. those holes closed. It, 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 it updates everything silently and yeah. automatically, so you don't have to worry about what pop-up is legitimate, which one's not. Uh -huh. It just does it for you, and it's like 25 bucks a year to yeah, keep it and we've, cheap. We've, and we've talked about a lot of things here. It, if it's gone over somebody's head, just give them a call, shrockinnovations.com. A couple locations in the metro, mm -hmm. one in, in Lincoln as well. That's you do right. Service Lincoln. Yeah, Thank we are we're the, the local industry leader in securing consumer PCs. Thanks, so. Thor. Hey, good to Ooh. see you. We know that. We appreciate Happy it. New Thank Year, you, guys. Thor, uh, Thor has too. some.